anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSE app. This is a message for dead sick. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him. Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the dead sick organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism Richard Malik issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. What are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building an... You get the idea. You're fucked. A hey, man can't walk down the street no more. Let's just do him in already. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Yeah, we actually had some ideas about that. Take it away, Bags. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. SIRS Counter-Terror Director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. I'm here. What's the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what do we do then? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Third uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Safe, bruv. Break in and connect Bagley to a filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. Someone forget to turn this back on.
Someone better run diagnostics on this. Access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security... central server is filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. deployed the microwave drones. Hold up, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? 
A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Turn it off and on again. Classic. Close enough. They don't fuck around here. Yeah, still looking. <gasps> Are you always such an idiot? Nothing here. about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hint. shell companies but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lives across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. <sighs> well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bond were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable and motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report with two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. <sighs> Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little silos you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Now let's find Malik and fuck him up, yeah? With pleasure.
integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Let's do this. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. Malfunctioning. Now what? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. And what's going on with Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Give me one good reason to not just drive the car into the river. Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Oh, what you said? <laughs> 